Alright, what's up, Reject Nation? What's shaking? It's your man Greg Alba here, and uh, I'm just kidding, it's John, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, listen, we just got back from seeing Transformers the last night, and I thought, what better way to get my head in the game ready to talk about Optimus Prime than this new Pitch Perfect 3 trailer? I'm gonna admit to you right now, I haven't seen the second one, but I did see the first one, and I liked the first one a lot, I had a good time. Pitch Perfect 3, I'm, I'm, I'm going in fresh, so uh, let's, let's see how this goes. Let's cue this trailer up here. It's a camera on the Barton Bell is an unlikely group of not men who somehow managed to win at something that didn't have to do with baking. I can hear you. They graduated college, have spread their wings, and are attempting to fly. The fire players delight with a shot of white privilege. Hopefully not becoming the failures we all expect them to be. I feel really good about where I'm at right now. I'm trying to get into vet school. Fingers crossed. Where are they now? My name is Fat Amy Winehouse. So let's get cracking. I quit my job. You can't find it? No. I quit. It's fine. Oh, oh come on. on. It's the wrong reaction. reaction. I would do anything to sing with you guys again. Anything. You guys, every year the USO puts on this performance to support the troops in Europe. What if I could get us an invite? Yeah, I've suddenly got a bunch of free time, so. Hell yeah! <laughs> You guys just sing other people's songs, like karaoke. Karaoke? Oh, no, no, no. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. Comedy, this is serenity, veracity, and charity. If I joined your group, I could be obesity. <laughs> stage for the Bellows. This is their big plot. <laughs> Fade out. Into nothingness. All those characters. You sure about this? Am I able to let you down? All the time. What? You're very unreliable. It's like one of the hallmarks of your personality. And you're not remembering all the times I've been awesome. <laughs> So I uh, is this I guess from what I'm getting from this trailer, let's just jump right in. What I'm getting from this trailer is it's the last hurrah, maybe if it, if it unless it makes a ton of of money. As you, some of you might recall, Elizabeth Banks jumped out of the acting seat and into the director's chair for part two, and that is not the case this time around. No, Trish C. Size something is directing this one this time. Step up all in, she did before this. So like I said, I saw the first one and I had a good time. You know, it was a, it was a, a pretty fun comedy mixed with, you know, a different dynamic with the musical element, the acapella, a world I am not as familiar with. And uh, this, while this does look like fun in some ways, I feel like um, I just can't tell what kind of movie they want to make this anymore. Like if they want this to be like big, crazy, you got explosions that they're running away from and like aircraft stuff. The first impression I get off this trailer is I'm having a little trouble figuring out uh, what direction they're heading, what kind of comedy <laughs> they're trying to make with this. Cause I mean, towards the end there, you've got them running away from an explosion, like jumping off a ship and and, you know, Anna Kendrick getting sucked out of an aircraft like the mummy or some shit. I'm a little confused, I guess, conflicted by the, the, the tone they're trying to set here. I mean, I like the ensemble of these movies. I didn't see part two, like I said, so I, I haven't seen like Haley Steinfeld in the mix. But generally speaking, I like the ensemble. I, I think 
the singing is good. And you know, I like these kinds of comedies, you know, I like Best in Show, I like bringing on some of these like, you know, competition based comedies, not that they're exactly the same as this. I feel like once you get a few sequels deep, I like the fact that they're going with the whole meta kind of, these, these ladies really need to join the workforce and like, you know, do something real. After so many competitions, you know, how, how, how soon is it until you just get onto DVD? Like, bring it on. <laughs> like, there are only so many of the same competition you can go for after so long. But I don't know, I mean, this is a cool twist going for the USO. Makes sense. And I like to see, you know, I, I always enjoy seeing John Michael Higgins and, uh, and Elizabeth Banks, you know, doing their, their funny banter thing, kind of like Fred Willard and the British guy whose name I can't remember from Best in Show. Like, I like... I like all the elements, but yeah, you know, the stuff they're adding to this, the stuff they're, they're trying to do to make it look fresh, I, I, I really don't know about, <laughs> you know? Um, I can't tell if they want to do gross out, like, amp up the gross out, amp up the action. You know, I, I think it's, again, cool that they're adding in, like, oh, you got this other, this other rival band now that's a real band with their own songs and real instruments, um, and at least for the stakes of the movie, that leaves me going, oh, <laughs> Why are, how are they gonna pull this one out? Or why are they in the same competition? Ruby Rose is, is in everything right now. I mean, I'm interested to see her in a movie like this one. This doesn't look like a surefire hit to me. I mean, I'm sure that there's something about a movie like this is that there's always a fun return value if you just like those characters. And I do like watching them a lot of the time, I think. Anna Kendrick is a good, kind of punchy, spunky lead, you know? Um, I like her in her play with Brittany Snow. Rebel Wilson, man, I, I like Rebel Wilson. I think she's funny. Three movies deep, I'm like, fat, fat Amy jokes, just keep on rolling that fat Amy train. And I don't know how to, at this point, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm like, how many fat jokes are we gonna do? <laughs> like, there's gotta be something. I don't know, I, I always wish for Rebel Wilson that people would write more than just fat jokes for her. But hey, I mean, she still makes me laugh with them, so I guess that's a something. Yeah, I don't know. This, the, honestly, this trailer looks a little long in the tooth for me. I like this, I, I like the idea of Pitch Perfect. I feel goodwill towards it, but just as a, as a trailer, Ooh, I don't know how this movie is gonna turn out. You know, the, it's the same writer as the first two movies, so um, I guess that bodes well. But um, yeah, I, I'm feeling kind of kind of Luke on this trailer, and um, you know, it's gonna—I I think it's gonna come down to the word of mouth for me. So yeah, Pitch Perfect three trailer, boys and girls, are you excited? Comment below. Let me know. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for joining me on this sequel to my End of the Storm reaction. Uh, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects by hitting that subscribe button. That's why it says subscribe on it. Also, click that notification bell to get notified every time one of our new videos is out. If you're a fan, you're gonna wanna do that. My name is John Humphrey. I live here on this channel. Co-created it with the G Train. He's just outside on the balcony. I can see him from here. I'm also, go check out Blumhouse.com if you're into horror. I, I also work for them and it's weird to plug yourself. It feels strange in my body. Um, yeah, and um, we got a whole bunch of cool stuff happening on Patreon right now if you wanna come check out our Patreon community. We actually filmed a video just recently uh, that we're gonna be putting up there that everybody can see, so keep a lookout for that. Join us next time. Acapella stuff. <laughs> Acapella. I mean, it's not as it's not as cool when it's just it's just you. All right, guys. So, Pitch Perfect three. First impressions right off the bat. Um, I've been saying for a long time that this franchise really needs to ramp up the action. It really needs to ramp up the espionage. I think it should be a military story, and I'm glad that they're going that direction this time around. Finally, you know, uh, uh, connecting with what I feel like the audience really wants. You know.